Hi, my name is Kevin, and I am going to do a walkthrough slash kind of video overview of a design of a puzzle in Liminal. And so, uh, this is a puzzle that occurs in the mid game. And upon entering the area, there's a couple things to note. Um, for one, there are a lot of door frames, a lot of doors, and one specific door that kind of stands out among the rest. Um, so the game doesn't explicitly tell the player that that's the exit, but kind of uh, context clues can uh, infer to the player that that is the exit. For one, there is no way to ex um, for the player to reach there by default. Uh, there's a pit that they would fall in if they try to reach there, but for the most part, every other door and frame is accessible except for that door. And two, it's a color coded very similarly to the entrance that we came in and there's no other door that kind of shares that the same look and the color as this door so um, the question is how do we get to that door and so well we use these these doors these portals um, and up until this point we've learned that doors act as portals to other doors and so this portal this door will lead through here and we're in the same area because this area is the area over there in that corner so this door leads to that to that area um, but when we enter through this area there's not much we can do here you know there's a ledge that we would fall and die but you can't really even reach the, the exit from this point so um, something else that we've learned at this point was that you can remove the portals or remove the doors and place them onto different frames so then the moving the the portal will create like a, a conduit to use like so you can use that frame that portal to get there um, so let's remove this and hypothetically, let's um, let's just put it here, and see what happens. Okay, well, nothing happened, uh, and that is because we didn't really change much. We just changed the the input of like the, the teleportation kind of. Um, so instead of going to that area from that frame, we simply just went through it through this frame. It didn't really do much. Um, so by process of elimination that kind of leads us to this frame and this frame is upside down compared to the rest and something that we've also learned from this point is that putting uh, a portal in a door and entering a door upside down yields a different result it causes the player to enter the frame and exit upside down so Now, now, now this is different than before, and you can see it from even from this angle is that yes, we've exited from the to the same door, but we switched orientations, and previously we couldn't get uh, get over this uh, ravine, but we could now walk on the ceiling. So let's just kind of explore see what what has changed actually from this angle you can kind of get a, a glimpse into how we can solve this puzzle and that the player will have to exit through that frame to that door because it seems pretty clear there's nothing to obfuscate the player or prevent the player from doing so so um, let's just start moving some some portals around so I'm gonna move this and put it over here now we are right side up because we were originally on the ceiling and we exited and now we're back in the kind of the main area and actually as a note um, to talk about the design uh, we did a lot 
in order to kind of alleviate players' confusion of not knowing whether they were right side up or upside down. And it kind of, and it, part of it is the, the design, the, the look, the art of the level. Uh, you can tell from just the way it looks. It resembles an office building or, you know, what used to be an office building with this giant hole in the ceiling and whatnot. Um, but you have, like, chairs, you have a, a ashtray, you have tables, you have, you know, paper, you have ceiling lights. And in a way, it helps tell, like, an environmental story, but it also serves purpose in the gameplay to help players know whether or not they are upside down or right side up. So this is right side up, you know, everything looks kind of normal or relatively normal uh, with chairs on the floor and stuff like that. But when you walk through here, this is how the players can tell that they are upside down is that uh, suddenly the ceiling lights are floor lights, you know, so to speak. And now the chairs are on the ceiling, which means we're on the ceiling. So that's just kind of like a little aside just to explain why this place was designed the way it was. But anyways, we are still not there yet. But if you couldn't tell, that door really starts to look like that door because they are the same door. Um, so the player has to figure out how to walk upside down or exit upside down so that they can get to that door and the solution is pretty straightforward from this point um, you would need to exit upside down or to enter upside down to exit upside down but for the let's just say players don't know that yet or they haven't considered that and they just take this and they uh, they put it here Say nothing's really changed much because, well, we entered a right side, uh, right side up door, and exited out of a right side up door. So, um, well, one thing's, the one thing we did get right is that we do need a portal here, so that we can exit upside down and get there. Because, well, that's kind of like the that is the solution from this point on. Um, so we're gonna take this and put it here and voila we started right side up and we're going to enter upside down so that we can exit upside down and that is the puzzle <laughs>